Just pay attention because I can't see over that side. Two stay fours. Three stay fours. Yeah, wrap it a little bit then. Put that Did you get any of Welcome to day number three post ACL surgery. If you're new here, my name's Josh and I am fully documenting my recovery. Right, let me get some lights on in here. I like that. I have my studio light over there and being able to control it with the remote from my bed makes me feel like I'm in some sort of expensive hotel room. But day number three already feels better than day number two. Yesterday was a bit of a write-off. Codeine had me feeling wonky all day. First of all, I woke up in serious pain because I hadn't dosed up the night before on painkillers. Took some liquid morphine, which kind of knocked me out. Then codeine, which knocked me out more. And the whole of yesterday, I was just feeling groggy. It also meant because I slept twice, I had a really late night. So I went to bed about four last night, so it's now. It's now 11, um, and I have to say, I'm not actually in any pain, which is quite a nice nice place to be, but this happened yesterday morning. As soon as I moved, it started kicking in. So I am actually gonna take some proactive painkillers. I'm gonna take a codeine and some paracetamol because um, this morning I'm taking the bandage off. Yes, I am. Dr. Mac! Yeah. Oh, Dr. Mac! Time is now. Yes, Dad. You doing it there? We're debandaging. Okay. Just feel easy today. Although that could be just because I've dosed upon codeine in a proactive kind of way. <laughs> Time to get the bandage off. Buzzing. That's a long way down. Yeah. Is, that, is that in the right place? Yeah. This is my little booklet, wound care. Depending on the nature of your surgery, you may have dressing to cover your operation site and it's advisable not to remove it for the first 48 hours. Now, I have a little slip from Lily, who was the nurse, who suggested Ooh, waiting nurse. until Lily nurse. 11 o'clock yesterday, 48 hours post-surgery, but I was in a bit too much pain yesterday, so we've left it. So observe your wounds daily for signs of infection. Um, keep your knee bandaged until 11. Keep all dressings clean and dry. Until then, um, to debulk, wash your hands. Have done. Remove all bandages. If waterproof dressing is in place and secure with minimal blood spotting, leave alone. Yep. Replace dressing if they are soiled. If no waterproof dressing in place, then apply the dressing as supplied. Please ensure wounds remain covered for one week following your operation. Once your wounds are covered with waterproof dressing, you may shower daily. You're on camera, by the way. Full of funny faces. I call funny faces whenever I wish. So. Okay. So. Replace dressings if they are soiled. If no waterproof dressing in place, then apply dressings as applied. Please ensure wounds remain covered for one week. So we're putting on waterproof dressings now. Have you got any? Yeah. Good. I bet they're not where you're sitting there. They are. Wow. We're ready! Not just one moment. Lily really has the patience the same. Here we go. Gosh, there's an arrow on your leg. Make sure the doctor did the right thing. Just We're keeping the plaster because if his leg drops off when I take the bandage off, we'll have to stick it back on quick. I don't think it will. <laughs> Lateral tenodesis down that side, that'll all be open. That's the arthroscopy and that's where the new staple is. Still quite swollen, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What's that swelling? That's just where the... It's just the compression of the bandage. Jesus. It can't move up and down. This is why it's important to take your aspirin. aspirin yeah. So what we need to do is we need to get some ice on that and we need to elevate it. Granny. No, don't do that. Grand, get the ice. Just elevate it and that'll all disappear. The size of the lump, but there's big swelling there and there. Here we go. Oh, there's one staple. Sorry. Two staples, three staples, four staples, five staples. Why the staples? Six staples. Oh. Just holding me together, mate. Seven staples, eight staples, nine staples, 
There you go. Nine staples. That's going to be a tidy scar. And then we've got ten. That's a bit, a little bit wet just there. Yeah. Appreciate that. Let me take some morphine. Take some morphine. Yeah. That is starting to hurt. So I'm actually just being proactive with it. I've not, had, I've not had anything today apart from codeine at 11. You know, yesterday morning, woke up and I was in serious pain. 10.42, 10.56, we were gone. That's acting. All right, we're carrying on. I don't know if you wanted to wait 10 minutes. No, it's all right, no, quite calm. Whoa, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 15 staples in total. That's not either, a bit more. Why would you hit it again? <laughs> <laughs> no, line it back up. Precision piece of equipment. Down a bit, up a bit. If you loosen it, you can get control of it. Oh, uh, right, well, no one tells you these down, things. Down, 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 down. Down. I'll do it. Uh, oh, sorry, up a little bit. I'll do, I'll do. That's perfect, thank you. God, he's a fat boy, isn't he? It's very swollen, isn't it? Proper. It's just bled, that's all. I know, but it looks thick. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's dry in the air. It's coagulated. Squeeze the blood. Dry. Oh, nice. Got it. Other than maybe a doctor, I don't think I'd prefer anyone to do this than you, Dad. Even then, I think I prefer you over some doctors. <laughs> it's a practice. But yeah, the last memory I have of this bit down the side with all these staples is, is mid-surgery, and I could see I was properly open, and they stitched and then stapled. So I don't know what they stitch kind of flesh and then staple skin. Internal stitching is dissolvable. Right, okay. And they staple the outside. Right, because it was a big hook. Oh, do you? It was a big hook, and it had a blue yeah. wire, a blue stitch. That'll be dissolvable internal stitches. Oh, okay. Did that hurt? It did, it was a bit bruised that. Lovely job though that is, thank you very much. Ten minutes is all you need though, squirt. Right, I'll do it from there. Obviously not as proficient as I normally am with camera angles, but since Dad applied the dressing this afternoon, I've not really moved from this seat at all. It's been quite painful today, and the swelling since I've taken the bandage off is really quite obvious, so we are trying to keep it elevated. Everyone's going to bed now, so that is day number three done. Just going to put the brace back on and then uh, go to bed. Not the most interesting vlogs, but this is the reality. It's worse than it was last operation. It's a lot more painful and uh, I'm a lot less mobile in the immediate days after the operation. Uh, I can't even turn you off. Do you want your tablets? <laughs> Good night. Did you just press that red button, Shay? What's this one? No, 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 the red button on the other side. Is it done it?